Hi guys, welcome back to a new video and today I am doing my Inktober day one entry and I know Inktober is technically tomorrow but I felt like this video would be perfect if it was uploaded today only because as I will be doing the challenge, I just thought about it last minute and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to upload every day but weekly so every Friday of this month I'll show you guys a sketchbook tour of all the illustrations I did for that week and I'll even include like commentary as which character is which for this certain day and I feel like that's gonna be easier for me I really did want to try and upload every day but I'm, I'm thinking about it now. It's going to really hurt me in the future and cause burnout. And this is also why I'm making this video. Um, I'm basically explaining uh, the number one rule regarding Inktober. And this is coming from a person who's done this challenge for years. I'm pretty sure I did not do one last year. I, I don't know. Or... I don't know, but I do have experience with this said uh, prompt, well, challenge, and I basically have, well, I want to give you guys advice to anyone who is new to this whole challenge. First of all, it's extremely fun, and that brings me to my only <laughs> rule or advice. <clears throat> Screw the rules, have fun. So basically, I know that's pretty like, uh, duh. But honestly, you do not know how many times, well personally for me, that when a new challenge, other than Inktober, it could be like any challenge three marker or whatever, I will be so pumped and I would just burn out <laughs> and just like give up. And I feel like, well personally, I feel like it's because I limit myself and like, put myself into a box to where like I'm following this said rule and I'm not having fun so I have three technically three segments that uh will will maybe help you guys um so when it comes to Inktober the first thing I wrote down was regarding the materials oh my gosh there are so many people that have like different opinions regarding this and honestly personally for me the prompt is to draw with ink and i think it should be anything any medium so if you want to do this challenge and you want to do it digitally i say i say that's okay i personally am a big fan of both i don't think there should be like a, a big rule that if you do it like any other way if you use like crayon and ink or watercolor with ink that's like you're not following like the guidelines. I feel like that's kind of dumb. And plus, again, this whole challenge is supposed to be fun and especially to use ink and that's it. I don't think that you should limit yourself to just using that one medium. Um, and I remember a uh, long time ago, people were on our, well, up in arms regarding like, you shouldn't use Copics and stuff like that. And I don't really agree with that either because it is technically, it is technically ink, but um, yeah, any medium is fine as long as you use ink. Even if you're doing like digital art, you can use like the default ink tool. And yeah, just just experiment and have fun. And um, so the second one is prompts. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have so I have a big issue regarding prompts i like to follow them but then i end up like quitting midway because i don't have fun and the easiest solution to this is basically not follow the prompt and um thankfully with inktober like the official prompt you don't really have to follow it it's just like a thing to help you get started but if you're not having fun, just like create your own prompt, draw your OCs, um, anything that will, well, anything that's like 
fun to you. It could be like even like a small illustration too. I forgot to uh, write that down in my notes here. Um, I feel like, well, personally for me, I get kind of discouraged when I see people drawing like these mega ink illustrations because I know that I could technically do that too, but then I get mad when I get burnt out and stuff like that. So don't like overwhelm yourself. Tiny illustrations are fine. Even if it's like a quick sketch you completed that day. And lastly, um, regarding that is a uh, schedule. Oh my gosh, you guys, when it comes to me and challenges, I try to do stuff, um, again, I try to follow the rules and that may include like drawing daily. Now, the problem with me is I will immediately, <laughs> immediately, yeah, I will fall off this rule and I would get mad at myself like, oh man, like I could have done, I could have did like five minutes each day I'm lazy blah 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 but honestly it doesn't really matter if you can't can if you can't do like every day complete a drawing prompt every day uh, don't worry about it it's not a big deal um if you want to try and catch up that's also okay but just try not to like strain yourself and if you can't draw like every day again because you have work school whatever like that is completely fine your priorities is it always comes first compared to like anything else plus inktober as important as it is it's not that important like it's not like a life or death situation so try not to string yourself but also um if you want to try and challenge yourself then i highly recommend doing it every day if you can but again, don't make it like your like bread and butter. Don't be like, if I if I miss a day, then yeah, just don't worry about it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this list. I really didn't have that many. Um, they, these are also basically like um, things I experienced over the years regarding Inktober, even though many people say like, hey, have fun. Um, I am very competitive, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very competitive, and I'm a, I guess a go-getter, at to, well, to some extent, and then I get mad, like, when I don't complete something the right way, I get discouraged, and then I will, like, I guess ignore it, well, stop doing it, said task, whatever, I don't know, it's just something that, personally, for me, I need to work on. And for this challenge, um, the whole theme is going to be based on nostalgia. And I decided, again, like I said before, I'm not going to upload every day. I, I thought about it and I'm like, that's too much. And I have school, I have work, and I have my other channel. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. But I basically do gaming on there and I'm trying to actually do a challenge where I'm playing a certain game for that month and yeah it's just it's just crazy because like I have a list and stuff and um <sighs> yeah I'm going to try not like strain myself so every day when I get off work I'm going to try and complete an illustration um not recording it or anything but just drawing and since the characters I will be drawing are kind of simple I'm not going to have them like over the top with poses like this. It might be like a headshot, a chibi, or whatever, but I'm not going to strain myself. I kind of want to do like full body character poses, but some of the characters, like the, the reference, their pictures are, they're kind of like blurry. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Again, I'm going to try and do a headshot if I can. And as you can see, I am using Ohuhu markers. I am using a red and blue pencil for sketching as well as a cheap knockoff sketchbook from Dollar, Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree. And you guys, when I was inking with this, well, sketching with it, it kind of had like a weird textured noise to it. And I was like, oh no. So I had to like get, um, I had to use one of my expensive Strathmore papers well I think it's a mixed media no it's a Bristol Bristol paper 
I had to use that to cover the other side so it would not bleed through the paper. And these inks, oh my gosh, you guys, they bleed. And I'm so happy that I remembered because as I was preparing for Inktober, as I was at the Dollar Tree buying this um, supply, I was like, I need to make sure not to get ink on the other side because yeah it's it will i will be extremely mad if i forget and um especially with the ohuhu markers they bleed very badly but they make a good design well good color i guess which i was surprised because this is this is just like a cheap sketchbook for sketching and inking and also i should um i guess point this out to you if you have like cheap art supplies you can use this too i don't i don't think there should be a law that you have to use like a certain ink supplies i don't know but yeah i i tried to find a perfect sketchbook that had like 31 pages or 30 plus pages uh no luck and the sketchbooks were extremely expensive so that's why i went to dollar tree and found one and as flimsy as it is it gets the job done and there's only 30 pages so for the last page it's going to be like a cardboard cover so i'm probably going to try and color on that and um <sighs> yeah, so I hope you guys have fun with Inktober. I'm going to go now because I did ramble a lot in this video. And I'm trying to, like, do commentary um, for, like, the whole video. So this video is, like, around 15 minutes. So I'm trying to, like, come up with things to say in 15 minutes. And, um, yeah, please have fun and do not strain yourself. And, um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video next Friday with a Inktober Week 1 sketchbook tour. Bye!